Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the VR 4D Modern Human Asset Pack, if you can call that, from a marketplace that I talked about a couple of days ago. And yeah, so basically, this is pretty exciting stuff because as you can see, these are all meta humans, but they are wearing customized clothing. And what I am trying to figure out is, it's kind of freaky because they already have the uh, the facial animation kind of standard. I'm guessing this is from the city sample. But what I really want to know is if I can use these clothes for my shorts or music videos and so on and so forth. And as you all know, ever since the MetaHuman release, the beta last year, a year and a half ago, the number one thing that I kind of ran into was customized clothes. We don't really have that many clothing. So when I saw this in Epic Marketplace, I kind of knew I had to check it out. So to kind of give you a perspective of what I'm talking about, I'm going to pull this girl right here. This is really hard to do with the traditional metahumans because the metahumans have built-in bra and underwear. So something like this would have been really hard to pull off. So this is really freaking cool. Now, what I'm going to do today is just kind of give you an overview of what this looks like. I'm going to close this thing. It's really annoying. Pretty much what I'm going to do today is just kind of give you an overview to see what this is all about. Uh, as you can see here, they have blueprints. They look like child blueprints. And you can have some mesh hat, all accessories that you can kind of change around in here, which is pretty cool. And the face right here, as you can see, it's pretty seamless. If you look at that shoulder right there, that looks pretty darn good. Press escape. You can't even see the seam. So that's pretty well done. And I have some static animations in here. But here's the makeup of the blueprint. You have face, top cloth, body, top body, bottom cloth. And the skirt looks good as well. And then you have the LOD, LOD sync at the bottom here, which is neat, really nice that they left it there because, you know, if you don't want this for a game, you want it for cinematics, you obviously want to crank that up. But this is kind of cool. And honestly, the first thing I really want to do in here is see if this will work in a sequence. So, again, I just open this up. And it looks like press G, the rig is intact, so that's good. You have a face neck control rig right here. So let me go ahead and get rid of this body one. And I'm going to try and see if I can load some of the preset animations that they have in here. So we have uh, Idle B1. And yeah, I do, I do recognize these from the uh, sample city. And yeah, they, wow, okay. So they kind of work straight out. Uh, but what I really want to know also is if I'm going to be able to retarget my mocap to these kind of talents and clothing. That's pretty cool. So I'll press play. So that is actually skinned. So let's take a look at it now. Hang on. Let's look at let's look at the female version. Now I do I did get the pack because you kind of save in the long run here. So if I go to the mesh and I'll just kind of set this to skeletal mesh here. We can kind of see all the skeletal mesh that it comes with. It does come with some faces as well. Got a body vest, bras, underwear. You got a bathing suit. And I'll go ahead and make this bigger. So it comes with quite a bit. And what's cool about it is you can actually mix and match. Even though it comes with some full-on set, you can mix and match the outfit got some hats got a nice gas mask there shoes boots and these are all just the females got some headphones and let's go check out the mail now we got some faces in there got some hats wow that's some really nice outfits got this covid mask gas mask whatever it's kind of nice got a scarf Got Tom Brady in there. But yeah, this is cool. And and what I'm really hoping... Wow, this jacket is nice. Okay, yeah. Definitely going to use some of these. Um, What I'm really hoping for, and I'm actually talking to the creator of this, is I'm hoping that 
they can come out with more, maybe packs, and hopefully buy them by uh, pieces per set. You know what I mean? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you would rather do that, buy it by clothes, like set, like top and bottom, and then accessories after instead of buying one ginormous pack. What I'm going to go do now is it comes with a with another demo map, a third-person gameplay here. But again, I'm, I'm really more interested in it as far as cinematics goes. All right, so I'll minimize this here. And we have a couple. So uh, let's press play to see what this looks like. You press 11. Oh, dude. This is freaking sick. This looks pretty good, dude. Uh, AI placing levels, force hair card usage, and this abled facial rig. Okay, so they don't have facial rig. This is more just for, like, I guess, if you need some, you know, some idle crowd. This is cool, dude. But this this looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to try and find a way to see... If you look at this skirt right here, I'm going to talk with uh, the developer to see if we can get that simulated using cloth physics and especially the stress. Yeah, I don't think that address is not simmed. But I'm curious because if you can use cloth physics to simulate that, chaos is, is not bad. This is super cool, dude. And this is what I want to see more of in the Epic Marketplace. More clothing options for us, man. Super, super cool. All right, so let me press F11 here. And let me go to this character right here. And I'm just, again, playing around with it. Let's go to this construction blueprint. So we have out. Outfit index, let's do three. And that's going to change it. Oh, cool. That's awesome. That's wicked, man. And I guess I can... Mobile cinematic. Ooh. I don't... Nah, I'm not going to do that. that. That would probably kill me. There's a couple of meta humans here. So I can click randomize. This is going to give him a cornwall. Or, okay, turns into a girl. That's cool, too. That's kind of cool. Now, I am... Oh, I can even change it here. Now, as far as mixing and matching, the actual... Um, and here are the accessories. As far as mixing and matching the, the actual cl uh, clothing, like the top and bottom, I'm going to have to mess around with that a little bit more. But but man, this is this is cool. Um, for you to actually rig these, you know, in Maya or whatever using Marvelous, this is gonna take skills and time. So for those people who really don't have both, to me at least, this is worth it. But again, like I said, I have to play around with it a little bit more. Uh, really, just to see if it can take simulation and so on and so forth. But yeah, this is cool. I actually like this jacket right here. And then this is definitely much needed <laughs> with meta humans because we need we need some more clothes. That's cool, man. This is this is exciting stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's just uh this is just kind of like an overview of what this is package is about. Um pretty much they're like met custom meta human clothes for your meta humans. And uh, I'm going to be playing around with it. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. And I'll see y'all in the next one.